And I saw a tweet regarding Cellar Angels. And I was like, what is this Cellar Angels? She does it that I looked into it. This is what a great idea. They take top wineries from California, of course, up in, in this case, up in the uh, Sonoma Napa regions, I believe. And then they, uh, you belong to a wine club like you would any wine club, but the wines that you're getting, the profits from that go to a number of different charities. Martin Cody joins us right now, I believe from Chicago, to talk a little bit about this project. Hey, Martin. Hey, Randall. How are you? Great. Thank you very much. Uh, we're glad that you could uh, join us today to talk about this. Uh, how did Cellar Angels come about? Just a group of wine lovers, as most great ideas come about, late in the evening, figuring out a way to Salt connect <laughs> Uh, wine aficionados or wine fans, wine lovers with the smaller, lesser-known wineries that are producing exceptional wines, and then trying to augment that with, well, how do we let everybody win from this? And that's where the charity concept came in. Right. So what I saw was uh, Jenny McCarthy, uh, who is a celebrity, uh, has a wine that you can buy through today, I believe, that uh, benefits autism because her son was born with autism and you've probably seen her on Oprah and, and such talking about that. Uh, I saw that and, and then that's how I was led to Cellar Angels. How did you connect up with Jenny McCarthy? How does that all happen? Through the power of social media, which continues to amaze me each day and kind of how you and I came about through Twitter, right. a small winery in Sonoma, two brothers, Blanchard Family Wines, they actually had an event and made a some wine for Jenny McCarthy's charity, Generation Rescue. Mm -hmm. And it was featured last year in Chicago, and we got wind of it, and I reached out to them almost a year ago. And almost to the date of my original email to them, her event was just this past Thursday night in Chicago, and it got an incredible response. They custom-made a Pinot Gris for her this week and only made 50 cases. And as you mentioned, it is the availability of that wine concludes this evening at midnight. Wow. And uh, you have a new wine that will be released on Tuesday, I believe, your email said. Correct. Uh, uh, Phipps uh, Family Cellars, a, this is really a cab lover Zinfandel. So mm -hmm. not many people have heard of Phipps. They produce great wines, which is what we're all about, is introducing kind of the smaller wineries mm -hmm. to more mainstream because everyone knows that once you get past the glitz and glamour of the bigger wineries, it's usually the small independent family growers that make exceptional wine, but they're making wine. They aren't leveraging the Internet, and they aren't, out marketing because they're in the vineyards and attending to the crops, so to speak. So we wanted to help them and also benefit some great charities at the same time. And what we allow the, our member to do, if you will, and membership is free, is they get to pick the charity. So it really gives them the power of getting access to great wine and then selecting a box for something that's near and dear to them, and everybody wins. Do they pick the charity from a list that you've called together, or they can just pick any charity? Uh, it's a, from a list of, that we've called together. There's currently 18 soon to be 19. We have a pretty major announcement coming up in June about another national charity that's reached out to us and we formed a partnership with. So Excellent. it just grows by word of mouth. Yeah. Well, I love it. How many members are you up to now if you have those numbers in front of you? We do. Uh, we will just say it's uh, above 10,000. Wow. So this is really uh, taking off. Do you automatically get, uh, like if you are a member, do you automatically get the next release or you you need to uh, say that you want the next release? No, you you automatically get it. We only do, I mean, listen, everyone is so busy. We, we're all getting 50 to 100 emails a day, so we didn't <laughs> want to flood everybody's inbox with emails. So we do yeah. one offer a week. And on Tuesday, that offer goes out at 6 o'clock in the morning, and you have five days to pull the trigger, so to speak. Uh -huh. And the video that accompanies the offer really allows the person to learn about the wine and the people behind it and say, you know what, that actually resonates with me. That has a great flavor profile. That's exactly in my comfort zone. I I'm going to grab some. The wine is always discounted. And then they get to pick the charity that they want, and the wine gets delivered to their door. It sounds like a great model. I love it. Uh, we are showing video uh, right now from the newest release that you have coming out on Tuesday. Uh, who does your shooting? Because the videos are beautiful that you uh, that you have the lighting, the composition, everything. It's just uh, really nicely done, each piece that I've watched. Uh, thanks so much. That's a film crew out of uh, Geyserville up in Northern California uh -huh. called Sims Productions, and they've shot probably, I think, the last 45 of our videos. And Hopefully, knock on wood, we'll continue with them forever. Yeah, because it's really well done. And it and you introduce in these videos that we'll uh, provide a link for you at eatdrinkexplore.com. If you're not watching on Ustream right now, the uh, 
in these videos, you are introduced to the winemakers, to the land that it comes from, and then eventually, you know, to the wine. And then, then like you said, you have a number of uh, days to decide whether you want it or not. Correct. And, and you've been in this business a long time, Randall, and you know that the best thing to experience wine industry is actually being at the vineyard. But yeah. uh, we all have day jobs, and we can't do that every single day. So we wanted to bring the vineyard into the person's home and let them see what they would be getting and also meet the winemaker, which is a huge privilege that not everybody else offers. We even have perks every now and then for people that buy cases of wine. The winemaker will actually call that person. Oh, wow. That <laughs> that doesn't happen. <laughs> but it does with these small batch wineries like you're uh, dealing with. Correct. So it, it's kind of fun, you know, a month or two after you purchase, the wine is already at your house, and then you get a 10 or 15-minute phone call with the winemaker to talk about the wine. And in the process, you've also picked a charity. And the winery wins, the charity wins, and the consumer really wins. And it's starting to take hold because there's no other concept like it, which we're kind of proud of. No, there's not. And uh, I actually hope to see a flourishing of these sorts of things, not so that you have a lot of competition, but so that all, so that everybody continues to win out, because uh, it sounds like your membership is certainly up. How, did, how do you choose... Uh, I know you choose the small batch and stuff, but you know wineries make a number of different uh, vintages. Do you try to hit a certain price point? We do, and, and we're not limited to just the small batch wineries. We've got a, a fairly large batch one coming up in June of a Napa Chardonnay that's pretty special. Mm. And right now we've only focused on Napa and Sonoma, but I have done an exploratory mission to your area. Uh, that was back in last September, and just it's perfect environment for us. We would love to have any wineries contact us because that's what we're all about. But as far as the wine, it, it's, you know, Cabernet and Chardonnay still seem to be king and queen. Uh, the Rhone varietals seem to struggle a little bit in the mainstream area, which is unfortunate because they're just awesome varietals and that's we love true. them. So we'll look at a price point anywhere. You know, a $50 bottle of wine might be on the website at twenty nine ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine, and that seems to be a sweet spot for people. Yeah. Uh, we have had some $80, $90 bottles, bottles of wine that were 40 and 50 bucks. so there really is something for everyone. Yeah, and uh, Martin, here locally we're aired, we air on uh, Crush 92.5, with just the name of the station tells you it's uh, geared toward wine lovers. I love it. <laughs> and so there are a lot of people listening in the Paso Robles region, the Edna Valley, northern Santa Barbara County, uh, that have close ties to wineries, if not the owners themselves, uh, listening right now. And so you'll want to contact, if this sounds like something your winery would want to be a part of, you'll want to contact Martin Cody with Cellar Angels. And it's CellarAngels.com, right? That's correct. And we know a lot about wine. And we know a lot about giving. When you get to the landing page, we apparently don't know a lot about website development. <laughs> so I love the honesty. Right in the front page, when you click on the join us, you can become a seller angel. We just need, you know, first name, last name, and an email address, and you're in. You get one email a week. I'm sorry, two emails a week, Tuesday and Saturday morning, and, and that's it. And that's it. I love it. Martin Cody with Cellar Angels. <laughs> That's very, you were very refreshing. It's fun to talk to you, and I wish you the best of success for sure. I think I'm going to become a member of that because it, I don't. We would love it, and we'd love to get down to your area and film because there's just so many great wineries there that people need to know about. It would thrill us to no end. When you're here, make sure you contact us because I'd uh, love to hang out and uh, have a glass of wine with you. Martin you Cody can... from Chicago. It's going to be a hot one there today. Stay cool. You got it, Randall. Thanks so much. Have a great holiday. You too, likewise. Yeah, I think right, 80, I think 88 is the uh, expected high today uh, in Chicago. And with the humidity, whoa. Uh, yeah, I used to live in that region, so I can tell you. <laughs> it's, a, it's an indoor day. It's a cool one here in San Luis Obispo. A great day for uh, standing out in the field there at Madonna and uh, having some wonderful craft uh, brews. So if you were lucky enough to get your hand on some tickets, we'll catch you here next week. Make it a great one, everyone. You're listening to Eat, Drink, Explore Radio. Eat, Drink,